You know, one of the things that I absolutely love about working at Intel is the ability to talk to so many different companies about their analytics journey and what they're going through. We get to hear about the things that they're struggling with and also some of the wins. One company in particular is a company that started on this pretty significant digital transformation a couple years ago, all in an effort to simplify application, solution, and value delivery to their customers and get more value out of data. Probably a pretty common scenario for many of you, either going through this challenge yourself or on this journey yourself, or you're a company that helps others go through this. But this company in particular had some pretty sizable challenges. For one, they had about 315 petabytes of data growing at an exponential rate, coming from around 140,000 different data sources. And if you wanted to get access to some of this data to actually go and create some interesting new solution, it could take you upwards of six months to get it. So how does a company like this actually deliver any value? How do they overcome this challenge? Well, in this case, this particular company really went back to their foundation. They focused on business advocacy, getting a seat at the table with their key business partners, understanding the biggest priorities, the biggest challenges, biggest opportunities that those different groups had. That doesn't mean that they were better order takers. It means they worked hard to earn a seat at that table. At the same time, they had to completely rethink the corporate data strategy. There's no way. 140,000 different data sources. You can't solve that overnight. It's going to take time. But they wanted to get back to a, a foundation that they could build on that was around connectivity, trust, availability. And now that they've got their new friends in the business, they can do a better job of prioritizing which areas of focus in that data pipeline they want to, they want to prioritize. By doing that, they were able to start shifting some of the mindset of the, of the business, the culture around analytics, AI, and insight-driven mindset. And doing all these things, they were able to do some pretty impressive things. And in this particular case, this company was able to drive around $46 million of sales uplift in 2018 alone using an AI CRM-based solution. For some of their products, they were able to shave nearly a year off time to market. And in supply chain, a huge cost for many of us, they were able to save $58 million, again, optimizing inventory using machine learning and AI techniques. But they have a long ways to go. This is only the beginning. They're just now building that strong partnership with the business. Now they've got that, that flywheel going. If you can do that, can you do this? Really, really building on that, that momentum. It might surprise you to learn this company is actually Intel. It's us. It's our own journey. And so I bring this example forward not to trick you, right? Some of you are like, I can never trust this guy again. But really to show you how important our own journey is in how we establish our product portfolio, the focus of our organizations, the way we engage with our customers. In our case, we have about 15,000 software engineers across the company working on everything from operating systems, library optimization, open source solutions. In some cases, we build software if we see a gap in the market, all in an effort to move data faster, store more, process everything, all the things that we're here to talk about over the next few days. We have a great ecosystem, partners that are with us here where we can bring the best of their solutions with our portfolio and our learnings to really drive new innovations into the market. We get to also work with some great companies like Siemens, Novartis, NASA. These are companies that are pushing our limits as well and helps us figure out, are we on the right track? Are we delivering the right capabilities and the right solutions? So all this said, my big ask coming off of today as you go through the rest of the show, um, as you think about Intel moving forward, think of us beyond just the silicon provider. I know that can be the, the kind of the easy way to think of Intel. But really think of us as someone that's with you on this journey, going through a lot of the same scenarios, building a portfolio that's not only there to help us on our own path, but really uh, to, to work with our, our different customers and show that common thread. So come hang out with us in the booth. We want to hear about what you're going through. Uh, we want to collaborate together. 
and we really want to get a better sense of the challenges that you're facing and ensure that we're there to support you uh, as a partner on your journey. So thank you very much. Have a great show.